Hey everybody, uh, real quick, I just want to tell you that I dropped some, uh, well, an exclusive Comic-Con bundle or whatever you want to call it, Summer Convention bundle. I actually made some more pins and I have a bundle right here. And well, let me tell you about this real quick. For $20 with free shipping, you get yourself a big holographic sticker. You get a little sticker, a little box attack logo sticker. You get a keychain, a button, and one other cool thing here is I have these pins. Now this is uh, kind of the regular pin right here. There's only 60 of these made and you can see they're hand numbered. This is actually number 17 out of 60. So one of you could actually get that, but they're glittery and they glow. 15 lucky people out there will get their hands on a prototype pin. There's only 15 of these made. These are also hand numbered and you can see that it is clearly a prototype. It's literally a prototype of this pin. So check that out, links down below. Let's get on with the video. What's going on everyone? Welcome to Box Attack. I'm Dom and I'm here with Tate from Funko Kings and he actually went uh, pop hunting today, right? You got some yes. Comic-Con pops? I did with my dad if you've seen our YouTube channel. It's me and him. We go back and forth. It's a lot of fun and we went to Hot Topic and GameStop and he actually took the day off work to do it with me. That's so. pretty cool. And Tate actually brought me some pops that I, I couldn't even get a hold of today because they're just, they're selling out everywhere so fast. So uh, I got some pops here that I picked up from San Diego Comic-Con. Tate brought the ones that he picked up and we just kind of mushed them together to show you guys some cool stuff uh, from the con. I'm pretty excited about it's it. It's gonna be great. Yeah, all right, well, let's check them out. All right, so first up we have Volpix and what was this a GameStop exclusive? GameStop, right? yep, we yeah. got this at GameStop. Yeah. Me and my dad, we went there, it was super fun. See, these, this guy has everything. Uh, go check out his channel linked in the description below. But. We have Vulpix right here, GameStop exclusive. This is a flocked one though. Flocked Vulpix. They have a common, right, already? Yep, there's yeah. already a regular Vulpix. Okay, but... so let's, uh, I mean, you can see on the back here, the rest of the line uh, that we have, like Mewtwo, Flocked Mewtwo, well, that was a Funko Shop exclusive, right? Yeah, Flocked Mewtwo, that doesn't make much sense. It doesn't even sense. make sense, yeah. I, they just do it. Honestly, all of the flock Pops they've done for Pokemon don't make a lot of sense. I... Like. They Most just do them. it to make convention exclusives. Yeah, yeah. I, just an easy way out. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, open up Vulpix here and just take a closer look real quick. Yes. Uh, we'll get the handy dandy pop opening tool here. There is our Vulpix. It actually, this is so smooth. Like, I love how the flock pops I love feel. the flock pops, yeah. yep. And you can see like, this is a pretty big pop. I, like it's- the, the tails make yeah, it big, yeah. That's huge, like wow. <laughs> and, and, and the hair kind of matches the, the pattern of the tail, which is pretty cool too. Yeah. Pretty this cool one pop. actually makes sense flocked. Yeah, yeah. Mewtwo. I agree. <laughs> Mewtwo, not. not so much. <laughs> Pikachu, sure. Okay. Squirrel, no. Um, what else did they do that? Bulbasaur? Was... Bul no. Bul they did a flock Charmander, too. Flock no. Charmander, no. Charmander's a lizard, you guys. <laughs> All right, next up here we have Hello Kitty Robot, another GameStop exclusive. And, you know, to be honest, I don't know a whole lot about the Hello Kitty line. Me neither. Yeah, but it's a pretty cool looking pop. So it's let's. A, yeah, it's a pretty cute pop. Let's get pop it open also. here. And, uh, I mean, if you're a, a thumbs up if you're a Hello Kitty collector out there, because, like, you know that there's they're quite an expansive line of Hello Kitty pops now. They just released a whole wave of Hello Kitty uh, that did a collaboration with My Hero Academia, which is. I just, I can't go down the rabbit hole, man. Yeah, so same many. with the Alien remix pops. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're awesome, so but many. just so many of I them. I think you gotta kind of pick a character that you like and just go for like one or two of them because I can't do like 10 Alien remix pops. <laughs> exactly, yeah. All right, so here is our Hello Kitty robot pop. And I mean, you can see here, I, it's pretty much self-explanatory, but it's kind of cool. It's it like looks a- Looks metallic almost. Yeah, it's got like a, it's, it's maybe not metallic, it's like more of a glossier paint oh. finish than like a normal pop would be. Definitely. Yeah, and like, and you can see like, even on like the face, it's not as glossy, but the helmet totally is. Yeah, which just makes the pop look more detailed. Yeah, I'm not a huge Hello Kitty collector, neither are you, but I can appreciate a cool pop when I see one. All right, so next up, this is another, yes, it says GameStop, you can see it's a GameStop exclusive, but this is actually a Comic-Con exclusive and for some reason, they somebody forgot, missed the memo <laughs> to put the Comic-Con sticker on there, not the GameStop sticker. They had one job yeah. and they failed. One job, you guys. <laughs> so we have Super Tails and Super Silver here from Sonic the Hedgehog. So this is a cool two pack and they don't have very many Sonic Pops. I, I think no. there's like maybe a handful of them and some of them were like E3 exclusives. I think that one's worth a lot of money right now. Uh, yeah. And uh, this, this 
one right here. Oh, you can see them on the back, actually. I probably just should have went straight to that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, these are these are all the pops here uh, from the wave. Like you have Super Sonic right here. Take me back to my childhood playing Sonic on, on Sega. <laughs> And okay, yeah, yeah, it's game over. So we're gonna just take a look at the, get it, game over. <laughs> I just, we're gonna pull these out of here. And oh, look, oh. At, look at that. Oh. I love when they put these cool backgrounds on here. Sometimes the backgrounds make all the difference in, in these pops, you know, yeah. especially if you're an inbox collector and you don't take them out of the box. At least you got a cool background on the back there. So anyway. I like how these are on stands yeah. to make them in a Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Look, yeah, here, stand them up. Let's stand them up. We have, Super Tails and Super Silver, and yeah, they're like, <laughs> uh, they're running or jumping. I'm pretty sure this is like a jump run type Just of like thing. Just like Volpix again or. with his tail. I know, look at, <laughs> look at how big his tail is. Like, <laughs> wow, that is crazy. And he is like super bright in that light that I have above you here. You know they'll make the a yellow. flocked one. <laughs> I mean, have they made a flock Sonic pop at all? I don't. I, I don't, don't think so. I don't think so sure. either. Yeah, and then we have Super Silver uh, right here, which looks pretty cool as well. Both of these are, these are very uh, like vibrant pops. And I, I mean, out of box, they look pretty cool because they have their built-in stands and they're kind of like raised yeah, above Yeah, those like, are great out-of-box pops. Pops, definitely. I, yeah, I think if you're gonna get these, you might want to consider taking them out of the box. So again, we have uh, Super Tails and Super Silver right here, both uh, part of the two pack from the uh, GameStop exclusive, well, Comic Con exclusive, and somebody at GameStop just forgot <laughs> to put the sticker on. Coming up next here, we have, well, this is another GameStop exclusive, but they put the right sticker on it. Uh, yeah. This is the Marvel Zombies lineup. This is Zombie the Thing. And let me tell you, this thing looks really, really cool. Um, I love the yeah. different eyes. And now, one is white and one is black. That is so. In case you haven't detailed. seen this, this is the rest of the wave on the back. Um, there's a lot of Marvel Zombies pops coming out. I think there's the Walmart exclusive is a zombie, uh, glow in the dark zombie Mysterio, which is I'm looking forward to. And uh, I think there's a, even a zombie Silver Surfer that's a Hot Topic exclusive that I, was announced. I love that line. It's great. Yeah. Super Some of super my cool. And this is, well, I guess this is the first 10 inch from, from the line. And it makes sense to have the thing as a bigger pop because it is a bigger and beefier pop. Um, I have the other 10, wasn't the other 10 inch an exclusive to something? The other Target, 10 inch thing? I think. Yeah, yeah, it was Target, yeah. At a recent Target Con, actually, like yeah. a couple, few weeks ago, a month ago. I think maybe. this one's a lot cooler. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah. This is a huge box, you guys. I mean, you know how I feel about 10 inch pops, though. I always take them out of the box. Yeah, definitely my, out of the box for my, the 10 inches. My uh, box came all damaged, but I, I don't even care because this is just going on the shelf next to my other thing pop. And ooh, <laughs> look at that. That is. Really, really big and so cool. Okay, so. I love the bobbleheads, how the, ten, yeah. I love the 10 inch bobbleheads are awesome. We have some different things here to discuss that look pretty awesome. I love how they go from like the rock to the skeleton. Oh, and yes. like the skeleton <laughs> hands just like reaching out like, <laughs> and, uh, and then we have, you know, he's got a foot obviously, uh, but it's not <laughs> a skeleton foot, it's a regular foot. And is this even, if he's, a, if he's made out of rocks, is this, is this even a skeleton or are they just gray rocks? Gray rocks, old right? rocks. Old rocks. <laughs> I guess yeah because <laughs> how can a rock have a skeleton it's just another rock underneath the I don't know I don't get the logic here but I can appreciate how cool it looks because <laughs> yes. wow and see that see what just happened there if his head's wobbling too much he's gonna fall over if you get this and yours is kind of like that just put some double-sided tape on the bottom of his feet and stick him to wherever you're gonna have him make sure he's not wobbly and you should be good to go with him standing up. But I thing love is cool. the cracks in it, make oh, it look yeah. so detailed how each rock Especially looks Especially right here on the back of his head, and then the smaller ones down here, yeah. super cool. I'm happy with this thing, I don't know what do you think. It's a great pop. Pretty cool, yeah. So uh, we still got quite a few more to go through, so let's jump on to the next one. Up next here, this is one of, one of my personal favorites out of the line. As you guys know, I'm a huge Iron Man fan, and this guy is from Iron Man the movie, this is Stan Lee's cameo. I love these cameo pops that they're doing with Stan Lee. I think I had the astronaut one right there from New York Comic Con. And I think I have a couple others. Uh, I think I ordered the Ragnarok one as well. And real quick, on the back here, <laughs> we do have Stan Lee's uh, signature right here. And uh, you can see that it's got his little brand on it. Stan Lee <laughs> POW Entertainment. And of course the Marvel logo. And uh, this is 656. Uh, there's not like a line uh, for it. It's just part of the Iron Man movie. Stanley cameo, whatever. 
pretty the, cool. The hilarious cameo of yeah. Hugh Hefner. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it, it transformed into pop form really great. Look at that. <laughs> that is pretty cool. And he is just as stylish as ever. Oh, he's got like a little uh, pattern on his little shirt right there. He's wearing the red robe, brown oh. pants, black boots. I love the, the shades on here because it's got like a like a darker like sunglasses like kind of vibe to it, right? <laughs> yes. I love all the Stan Lee pops. Yeah, Stan Lee, freaking legend that guy is. <laughs> I love how the hair goes from gray yeah. to white. Yeah, we have that gradient right there. <laughs> I'm I'm looking forward to putting this. It'll probably go right next to some of these ones out of box because you know I, I just I can't I can't keep it in the box as cool as the box is. Pretty cool pop uh, by itself. And uh, well, I think we got a few more left here. How, what do you say we get in the rest of them? Yes. So while we're on a Marvel roll, we have Nightcrawler and this, okay. I was yeah. I was really excited when I saw all of the like designs on his face. Yeah. Cause they really captured the essence of, of it right here. We have all these other X-Men pops here on the back as well, as you can see, uh, part of that lineup. So if you wanna collect all of those, there's a bunch of them that are out already. I think some of these are even commons that you can pick up on the Funko shop. Yeah. So look at this. So, okay, right off, real quick, right off the bat, let me tell you one thing that's probably a certainty in the future of this pop. Can you guess what might happen with a pop that looks similar to this? Breaks? No, we'll have like a glow in the dark exclusive oh, to yeah, somewhere. Because <laughs> look at that. Like, if they made all that glow behind him and like half, how, okay. Or translucent. Well, he is kind of translucent already if you hold him up to the light. See how he's like, <laughs> yes. he kind of fades. Like, it's really cool because he fades from this blue up into like the regular paint scheme from uh, like his body and stuff. I could totally see Funko doing an exclusive <laughs> to, I mean, maybe it would just be, you know what they'll do? Since they made like the regular one, the Comic-Con exclusive, the glow in the dark one, the one that's way cooler, it's probably gonna be a common or something. Yeah. Right? And they do that all the time. But look at the detail on his face. Like, look at that. Super cool, all that line work and stuff. They really captured uh, Nightcrawler here. Really cool look and he's like mid poof, I guess. Yeah, it, at first I thought it was water mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I realized it was just him teleporting. Yeah, he's, he's in his mid poof state, his mid teleportation state. Yeah, where I love he, it. Like, I love the tail too. Yeah, yeah it's coming right out, <laughs> right out of there from the side. You can see that is so cool. And the, uh, oh, and also on the glow in the dark version that I'm predicting now, there will be, the eyes will glow in the dark yes. as well. Because, of course. Of course, yeah. <laughs> so we'll have like a blue glow right here and then we'll have glow eyes up there. Call it right now. Remember this day and time. You heard it first here. <laughs> we will have a glow in the dark uh, Nightcrawler pop at some point. Really cool though, but there are also two other very cool pops that came out at Hot Topic. And wow, this guy is just difficult to get in his box. I'm gonna put this in the box and we'll check out the rest of them. So finally right here, we have, these are two anime pops. Now, uh, both of these, okay, first off, De uh, Goku, they've made so many Goku pops, like, I'm, I I genuinely, truly apologize to you out there if you are a, a Dragon Ball collector. <laughs> I feel so bad for you because there are so many Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super Pops. And we have uh, SSG Goku right here, Hot Topic exclusive. And you can see like, I, it's just, it's silly. They can only put like five or six on the back here, but there are literally <laughs> like dozens of Dragon Ball Pops. Uh, but this one is pretty cool. So let's get in here, glow in the dark pop coming soon. Uh, you heard it here first. Yeah, look at the fire. How can you not make a glow pop out of that? They can make his hair glow and his eyes glow. But you know, you, you know they won't. They'll just make the fire. We have Goku right here and he's just looking pretty cool, jumping out of the flames. Now, personally, I'm not a, I'm not big on Dragon Ball anything. Yeah, me all. neither. I'm sorry, you guys. You can, you can roast <laughs> me in the comment section. I just, I never got into it and I feel like I would be so far behind and so far lost. If you ordered this or any, actually, we want to know what you ordered from the Funko shop or from any yeah. of the shared retailers online. Drop those comments below. Let us know which. Yeah, uh, what you could even get. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a whole really? other video, you guys. Um, I'm trying to be positive, but yeah, that was <laughs> that was an experience. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, we do have Bakugo 2 from uh, My Hero Academia, and um, they had a, a one other com. Actually, funny enough, hold on. I have a little statue that's very similar to the pop right here. 
Um, you can see it looks actually pretty pretty similar in terms of, uh, well, kind of. I mean, I guess it's not exactly the same, but we have the Bakugou, Bak Bakugou statue right there. Apparently, these were very limited. So when well, they went up online last night on Hot Topic, Gone. Early. They went up yeah. early, which is why everyone was super mad. They were gone in like 30 seconds, and then you had a bunch of hot topics around the nation, some of which are closed because things happening in the world, and then also, because of all that stuff, there's lower production, so stores, some stores only got like, what, like 10, 20 maybe? Yeah, we, was... got, we got to the store, we got up to the line, and they only had one left. We got wow. the last one. I feel so. bad for the guy behind you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I think your dad was saying earlier, just don't make eye <laughs> Yeah, we just left the store. <laughs> well, let's pull him out of here. And look at that. I mean, if you're in if you're in love with My Hero Academia, this is definitely a must-have. Uh, I feel like a lot of people that collect uh, this line of pops are just total completionists. Like, you have them all or nothing. You don't care if they have five million Deku pops that are chrome <laughs> and a glow-in-the-dark one and a metallic one and a common and a this and that and, and 10, 10 or 15 All Might pops. I love the hair. The hair is yeah. crazy. Super cool here. <laughs> I mean, obviously this is, uh, he's all in his full hero getup. And um, I, I'm not gonna say there's gonna be a glow one about this, and you guys are probably expecting <laughs> that, but no. It's just a cool looking pop, you know? And it was super hard to get, and and it's just it's just nice. I, I don't know, all around, I think, obviously this beats the pants off the common version of him that they have, and it does kind of look like the statue that I have as well, so that's that's pretty neat too there. But, I don't know, I mean, this that pretty much wraps it up for, uh, I, I would say this is maybe part one, of San Diego Comic-Con exclusives because they're just gonna start like just flying at me in all directions <laughs> because I ordered so many things from so many different places and they're all coming at different times but I will tell you that uh, the next video you definitely want to stick around for because that one's gonna be super super cool grail status coming at you pretty soon um, but if you haven't heard of Funko Kings or Tate's channel that he does with his with his dad where, where can everybody find you at? Funko Kings on YouTube and The Funko Kings on Instagram. Funko Kings was taken. Okay, so <laughs> check out The Funko Kings on Instagram. Look up Funko Kings on YouTube. Obviously, I will link all those in the description for you if you wanna go check them out. Uh, check out their videos, say hi, what's up, things like that. And also, huge shout out to everybody over on Patreon, part of the Box Attack Army. I send them pops out of my collection every single month. So if you wanna join up with that, check the link below as well. Along with my Facebook group, Box Attack Universe, where we discuss all things collect it's kind of been uh, uh, a lot of fun and a lot of chaos during the Comic-Con stuff. So if you need a support group, we are here for you on the Box Attack <laughs> Facebook group because I know there are some people that are going to need therapy after that Funko Shop drop. So uh, definitely go ahead and check out all those links below. Check out uh, Funko Kings on YouTube. And thank you so much for watching. Once again, this has been Box Attack. I'm Dom. He's Tate. And we'll catch you later.